What's up, people? This is your boy, Jay. I am here with the episode of Table Talk. And today's topic is Kevin Samuels. Ooh. Why the topic Kevin Samuels? Well, first of all, I want to say personally that I admire the work of that brother. I admire his work. Now, there's some things that, you know, we, people may have their agreements and disagreements on. But I will say, I say this personally, from watching all of his programs from beginning to end, I like his work. And a lot of men are starting to pick up on this. Because for so long, black men in this country has been looked at as being toxic when we display masculinity in its proper form everybody wants to call it toxic see a lot of people would take stuff that brother Kevin says and blow it all the way out of proportion see I watched a video of Kevin's talking about image and he brought up the original movie by D.W. Griffin, The Birth of a Nation, the 1915 version. Now, I've watched this movie. It's a three hour long movie. I've watched the original Birth of a Nation. I've watched it. I've seen it. And what he says in that video about image, about image, D.W. Griffin wrote that movie or produce that movie off of what somebody else told him. What somebody else told him. He he put all he concocted all of this off of what somebody else told him. It's the same with some of y'all. Y'all get up here and y'all talking shit about brother Kevin based on what the fuck somebody else done told you or some shit that somebody done took out of this man's video to make some fucking point that really ain't even completely valid because you didn't go through the entire video to see what what took place. You only took what part of them of this man's clips and decided to do whatever the hell you wanted with it because because you trying to because you want to destroy this man's image and this man's work. And it is motherfuckers that look like us. See, D.W. Griffin, you know did what he did back in 1915 to destroy the image of black people but we don't need people like D.W. Griffin to do that because it's motherfuckers that look like you and me that does it shout out to brother Kwame Brown shout out to that brother for calling motherfuckers out see it's when you don't go along with the bullshit that motherfuckers are projecting about you it's when you got to be all of this toxic bullshit because you push back because you don't go along with the bullshit and I admire what Kwame Brown is doing shout out to that brother Kwame Brown I, I'm, I'm here with you Kwame fuck what everybody got to say about you bro like you said I, my question is has any of these motherfuckers picked up the phone to call you see, see it's just like with brother Kevin all these motherfuckers that's talking this shit about this man have any of you motherfuckers had a conversation with that man? Oh, I don't need to have a conversation with him. Cause No, it's because you got your own toxic ass mentality and you're too afraid to be proven wrong. That's the problem. Some of you motherfuckers don't like to be proven wrong. You think that the shit that you say about somebody has to be right without even going to that person and figuring out what, what it is. What's the fucking problem with him? But I will say this. Brother Kevin and Kwame, shout out to y'all, man. Shout out to y'all. Because you know why? Kevin and Kwame is starting to really wake motherfuckers up nowadays. See, we already know that we got a problem with white supremacy. We know that. That's That's been around since we've been here. But the problem is with the motherfuckers that look like you and me. 
See, I watch all of Kevin Samuels's. I watch all of that man's. Everything that he posts, I watch everything from beginning to the end. See, you motherfuckers only get pick out what the fuck you want to pick out just because you feel like, oh, I disagree with him because of this. Okay, we all disagree in some things. We don't all share the same likeness in something. It's called diversity. Okay, but when you are picking something out to destroy somebody's fucking image, yeah, that's a problem. Because you don't want nobody picking shit out of your goddamn life to destroy your fucking image. You don't want nobody picking shit out of your life to destroy your image. And he's right. The image of the black man is destroyed by who? None other than ourselves. None other than ourselves. We destroy our own fucking image. We don't need people like D.W. Griffith. We don't need the KKK. We don't need white supremacy. We don't need them to do that shit because we do it to our motherfucking selves. But we hoot and holler about somebody else doing it. But we do the same fucking shit to ourselves. Just like we hoot and holler when somebody call us the N-word other than ourselves, but it's pretty much fine when we use it. See, we have got to reshape our fucking image. Seriously, our thinking, our image, there has to be some reshaping. There has to be. And we can't wait on nobody else to do it. Kevin is right. We can't wait on nobody else to do that. That's our job to do that. But see, it's when you don't play along with the bullshit, when you give any pushback, that people are going to come out the woodworks with all kinds of bullshit against you. All kinds. All kinds. The minute you start pushing back, the minute you start standing up for yourself, that's when the problem comes. Because you don't go along with the bullshit of people destroying your image because you know that's not you. You don't have to prove shit to anybody any motherfucking way. Fuck these people. Now, you can think whatever the fuck you want to think about an a person, but until you sat down and had a conversation with this person, until you sat down and had an understa understanding, fuck your opinion or what the fuck somebody told you or what the fuck you think you know about this person. You don't know jack shit. Shout out to Kwame Brown and Kevin Samuels. Because they ain't playing no games. Them brothers ain't playing. And people going to say what the fuck. Oh, with, with, with me? I, me personally, I don't give a fuck if you like me or disagree with me about what I say about brother Kevin or Kwame. Bitch, fuck you. You don't pay. You don't, you don't take care of me. I ain't worried about you ruining my image because I, I, I push back. You can say whatever the fuck you want to say about me, but I'm going to push back, bitch. I am. And I'm going to push hard. Because I'm not going to just go with the motherfucking program. I ain't just going to go with it. I'm not just going to sit there and let you ruin my shit. Fuck you. I will push back. And that's what I think all black men need to do. When, when you know, black men, when, when, when somebody's trying to ruin and destroy your image. And not only that, the motherfuckers that's trying to do it can't really do it because there's it's, it's always some shit on them too. It's some shit on them too. So why are they trying to destroy your, another black man's image because they're being paid by white folks to do so or whatever their little weak preferences is to do so. It's always some shit on them too. It's always some shit on them too. See, you don't get to you don't get to put your hand in a bowl of shit and cry foul. You don't get to put your hand in a bowl of shit and cry foul. You don't get to do that. You don't get to throw shit at people and call foul. So, whether you agree with me or whatever, I don't give a fuck. Now. I will take the brother Kevin's approach with shit because people wants to go disparaging this man's name and he ain't even he ain't talking he ain't even trying to get into no motherfucking beef with nobody. You know what? That's a that's a good motherfucking strategy. You know what? I don't got time to be beefing with nobody about what. But I will say this. 
just because I push back, because I will, I refuse to allow you to destroy my image. Like you said, you got to be toxic or you got to be gay. And that's fucked up. This is fucked up of what people think about black men for, for displaying true masculinity, for standing up for himself. You got to be gay or you got to be fucking toxic just for standing up for yourself. Because you refuse to fall for the bullshit that people put out there. Now, people say, I got receipts. Well, you can also have inaccurate receipts too, motherfucker. You can be one of them type of motherfucker that's trying to take back an electronic with a receipt full of groceries. That's an inaccurate receipt, motherfucker. Oh, it's still a receipt? No, it's not the right receipt, dumbass. It's the wrong receipt. And you're trying to take back an electronic product with a fucking receipt full of groceries. There's no electronics on the motherfucking receipt. It's all groceries, but you're trying to use that receipt and convince these people that there's electronics on this receipt when there isn't. And then you get mad because people see through the foolery. You're mad because nobody wants to fall for the foolery. That's what's wrong with you motherfuckers. You mad because you can't always be right. You mad because you ain't always right. So with that said, like I said, shout out to brother Kevin Samuels and shout out to motherfucking Kwame Brown. Good fucking job, bro. Both of y'all keep up the good work. I'm going to still follow and support you guys. And with that, this is the end of another great episode of Table Talk. And I want to say this. People going to say what they want to say. That's fine. I don't care. It ain't what you call it. See, this is what I learned growing up. It ain't what people call you. It's what you answer to. This is your boy Jay. Signing off. Peace. Black power. Black love.